If you're struggling with an H. pylori infection, stay tuned for this video because I'm going to reveal a new science-based strategy that may be the extra boost you need to finally treat it. What's up and welcome to the video. I'm Dr. Daniel Ricciardi, gut health expert, licensed pharmacist, fitness enthusiast, creator of SIBO Shortcut and Bloat Blocker. This video is gonna be talking about H. pylori infections and specifically, are there particular vitamins that seem to be helpful when used in combination with H. pylori treatment for getting rid of H. pylori? H. pylori or Helicobacter pylori, which is a bacteria that can infect the stomach, and it's even estimated to be present in about half the world's population, especially in developing countries. It can cause serious stomach problems like ulcers and even down the road leading to cancer. And if the H. pylori persists for a long time, it even makes the risk of cancer higher. H. pylori can also make it harder for your body to absorb certain nutrients, which can lead to vitamin deficiencies and even problems outside the stomach. There are a lot of studies looking at the relationship between H. pylori and vitamins. This video is going to pool together the newest available research to answer the questions. Do specific vitamins help with H. pylori treatment? If so, which ones can do this? And what other notable relationships are there between H. pylori and these vitamins? And if you're looking for an herbal H. pylori treatment, click the H. pylori link in the description below. I have one on my full script dispensary. You get 20% off this and literally everything else that you see in the dispensary. This 2022 systemic review and meta-analysis by Frontiers in Nutrition Journal pulled the available data, which included 48 research studies on this topic. The vitamins that were researched in this video include vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin B12, folate, which is also known as vitamin B9, and then the antioxidants vitamin A and vitamin E used in combination. After pooling all the studies together, this meta-analysis found that for vitamin C, vitamin C levels were lower for patients with H. pylori compared to patients without H. pylori. It also found that supplementing with 500 milligrams of vitamin C twice daily may help with eradicating H. pylori. This is supported as well in this 2012 study, which was referenced in the meta-analysis. As you can see here, vitamin C 500 milligrams twice a day plus vitamin E 200 international units twice daily for 30 days used along with 14 days of triple therapy, which is a proton pump inhibitor, which is box stomach acid, plus amoxicillin, which is an antibiotic, plus chlorithromycin, which is another antibiotic. Looking at the numbers, it looks like the patients that included the vitamin C eradicated H. pylori about 82% of the time, compared to ones that did not use the vitamin C got rid of H. pylori only about 45% of the time. So pretty significant difference. Moving on to vitamin D, this meta-analysis found that like vitamin C, vitamin D levels in patients with H. pylori were also lower than patients with without H. pylori. It also found that for patients that did have a successful H. pylori treatment, when looking at their vitamin D levels, people that had higher vitamin Ds had a greater success rate than the people who had a lower vitamin D level. This 2021 study highlights this fact, showing that patients that had successful H. pylori treatment had an average vitamin D level of about 31 nanograms per milliliter, compared to ones who had unsuccessful H. pylori treatments were around 19 nanograms per milliliter. Moving on now, to vitamin B12. This meta-analysis found that H. pylori had a significant impact on lowering the vitamin B12 level in patients. It found that after H. pylori was eliminated, vitamin B12 went back up. There wasn't any evidence in this meta-analysis suggesting that taking additional vitamin B12 actually helped with getting rid of H. pylori, but supplementing with vitamin B12 if you have H. pylori is still a strong recommendation to avoid a deficiency. Moving on to folate vitamin B9. For this one, the meta-analysis didn't really see anything super convincingly strong, but some of the studies looked at in the meta-analysis seem to suggest that if you have H. pylori, it drives down your folate levels. And then lastly, vitamins A and E and the antioxidants. There was some evidence in this meta-analysis. Overall, the evidence available in this meta-analysis seemed to suggest that vitamins A and E may help with H. pylori eradication rate. I tried to find the exact dosages that were used, couldn't really find them. So based on some of my own research, a dosage that may be beneficial to do would be 1,000 to 3,000 units of vitamin A in a fully formed type, meaning a lot of different types of vitamin A in this supplement and not just beta carotene. And then for vitamin E, 200 to 400 units daily. A couple comments and then quick review on what we talked about. One thing I did want to point out is that triple therapy was used for a lot of the studies in the meta-analysis. Triple therapy is the proton pump inhibitor antibiotic with a second antibiotic. Compared to a quadruple 
quadruple therapy, which is now kind of like the gold standard when doing a prescription-based H. pylori treatment. This includes bismuth as the fourth agent, quadruple therapy, and this seems to work better. A lot of the studies that were looked at in this meta-analysis did use the triple therapy, which is the older one that doesn't work as well. So something that could potentially affect the results in some way. For the takeaways from this video, vitamin C, 500 milligrams twice daily during the H. pylori treatment may provide additional benefit for eradicating H. pylori. Vitamin D likely offers protection against getting H. pylori, according to this meta-analysis. To not be vitamin D deficient, you need to have your level over 30 nanograms per milliliter. However, I found that it's much more useful if you're in the 40 to 80 range. No actual dosages are given in these studies, but I found that 400 units to 2,000 units daily is generally going to be considered safe for most people, and it may be appropriate to supplement with higher dosage in certain cases. Vitamin B12, very likely to be decreased in patients with H. pylori. Supplementation is highly recommended in patients with H. pylori. The exact dosages were not provided, but some of the forms that I like are methylcobalamin, adenosylcobalamin, and hydroxycobalamin. I like these because they get absorbed better. The cyanocobalamin version is not absorbed as well. As far as folate, vitamin B9, having higher levels may provide some protective benefit against getting H. pylori. And then for vitamins A and E, the antioxidants, taking these with your H. pylori treatment may benefit in helping with H. pylori eradication rate. That is all for today. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit that notifications bell so you see anytime I post new content. If you're new to my channel, I post a new full-length video every Monday in YouTube Shorts throughout the week. Since you watched till the end, I think you'll enjoy one of these two videos next. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.